So this car right here has not been out of the garage for far too long now. And with all my renovations going on, everything going on, this upcoming weekend is Labor Day weekend and I really like to have this car out of the garage. First I gotta get this pile of soil out of the driveway, which means I gotta do some more projects here. And that's what we're gonna be working on today. So I got both Swordmans out today because, well, I need to use two different tools, the Scarifier and the Reel. And one has one in there right now and one has the other. So I guess why switch them out, right? So I'll show you a little bit of both today. I'm gonna be going through this yard first. I know it's going to seem extremely crazy because it looks amazing right now, and it does. But we're not really after the look on this step necessarily. We're after fixing all of the stuff that happened during my irrigation install. And then, so top dressing basically as much as possible. Some leveling where we might have to do some more seeding, probably on that far north side. But it'll be the exact same seed, it will look the same and really not too long because it's perennial ryegrass so it doesn't take too long to grow in. So basically on a closer look you can see here some of this brown. This is just stuff that got a little bit too toasty during the summertime or fungus or and or maybe both. So this should come in clean out most of that. There's still plenty of good grass here and we shouldn't harm a lot of it but it's okay because we're going to overseed a little bit as well, get some more new grass seed in there. talked about this little thing before but it's awesome. I will have a link down in the description if you want to check it out. Basically, who knew there was all this stuff kind of mixed in there. Now there's some green grass in there. Like I said, we're going to be putting a little more seed down so I'm not worried about that. But also, there's a lot of brown stuff down in there too. That looks fantastic here. You can see all that brown stuff has gone out of there but yet we still have plenty of good grass left here. So. If you just left it like this and you started watering again, fertilizing again, even though this is ryegrass and it's not going to spread as tight as bluegrass will, these plants will still start to bunch themselves bigger than they are and fill in these little bit of sections here with new leaves on these plants. So it would work that way too, but we're just giving this some room to breathe here, get rid of all that junk that was in there. And now I begin to cut it just a little bit lower so we can see where our leveling areas need to go. There it is cut at a half an inch. This is bad news bears for me because I really like it at this height and I'd prefer to keep it there during the fall time or during the cool part of the year if I could. But what's revealed to me though, even at a quarter inch taller, cutting at three quarters of an inch is I have a lot of uneven areas happening in there and I knew that that was the case, especially after the irrigation. There's some sections over there where you're just driving along and you can feel those tire marks where the indentations from the tires, it's like bouncing on a gravel road right there. So feel of it though is really amazing at this height it really feels much more fairway like and so we'll see how the leveling goes and where I can get it to uh, moving forward I wanted to see if you could see this too this is a big patch of fescue right here and it has been surviving just fine um, yeah it's a big patch of fescue there's some more over mixed in in here another piece right here so that's all left over from the old yard. I've never sprayed this yard out completely. I just smothered it last year, so there's still some stuff in there. OK, 
Okay, here's where I'm at so far. Got kind of one layer of soil put out here. I'm gonna rake this around, get it somewhat level, take the roller over it, and then start to make my fine tuning adjustment. So this one's got some pretty drastic areas, so it's gonna take a little bit of work here to kind of fine tune everything. Well, it's almost dark. I'm working my tail off as usual and uh, have to probably continue some of this in the morning, so I'll see you then. Good morning, everyone, or afternoon or evening, whenever you're watching this. You know, I may only be in my mid 30s, but my body's starting to tell me that it's not so happy about certain things that I've been doing, like shoveling all that stuff yesterday. So I'm pretty sore this morning, but we will push through it like we always do. So I just spread this out here and I wanted to show you that if you were going to be just top dressing the yard, you want something like this when you're done spreading the soil. So we got a nice layer here that leveled everything, but we also have the grass blades coming back up through. That needs to happen in order for it to continue to get sunlight, grow back up through that soil. So if you were to smother this thing, like I have a couple other areas here that are completely covered, then that's why I'm adding seed back on top of there to make sure that I'm going to have grass growing everywhere again. And that's, that's mainly just because I had some drastic leveling work to do. But if you're just top dressing and you just wanna come in and kinda of cover everything with a nice even layer, not go too heavy, then this would be what you would want it to look like. I pretty much ran out of soil now that I can really sift really well. This stuff's pretty wet. It kind of got through underneath my tarp that I had on there, so I'm gonna let this dry out a little bit more. Here's what we have for the area that was the worst. I did my absolute best. It, I think it's gonna need some more top dressing over time, and there's really no doubt about that in my mind, but for now, at least we can get the mower across here and we're not running through valleys and big bumps and stuff, so. For our bare soil areas, I'm gonna to try to put some peat moss on those. It may or may not hold. We do not really have any storms crossing my fingers in the forecast, so some of these bare soil areas, I'm going to try to cover those. The rest of it is totally fine, no problem with that. It'll hold the seed down in that existing grass. It's a nice thing with ryegrass is that as you go along, one, I've grown it on concrete before, so it's pretty resilient stuff, and two, is that once you see thin spots, throw out a little bit more seed there. Within a week's time, you're not even really gonna notice it anymore. So let's see how long this takes to germinate. Normally, three to four days or so is what I've seen in the past. This is it, it's all I have left. I hope to not see the shovel again for quite some time.
ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. On this day, this American holiday, we are celebrating the rights of free, laboring men and women. Maybe it's just me, but it often feels like Labor Day is just another day for more labor. Sure, you might be away from work, but it seems there's always more work to do at home. For my wife, it's canning season, and that means hours and hours of boiling water and time spent in the kitchen. For me, of course, it's lawn season, which also happens to be my job. But I spend more time on that and the video work than you might believe. But I do that for a good reason, because I truly love it. For us, we don't know any other way. As my wife always says, I don't sit well. On this Labor Day, I hope you had a chance for a small break from reality. Or if your work was just replaced by more work at home, I hope it was something that you enjoy. For me, I got back to a few things that I've been missing for a while. said on some future Labor Day by some future President of the United States that we did our work faithfully and well. <laughs>